Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. God said that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans will discontinue from their heritage. What comes with a heritage? Your land, the language that you speak, the clothes that you wear, the name that you're being called. You're not black. You're not African American. You're not Hispanic. You're not Mexican. You're not Puerto Rican. You're not Cuban. You're the Israelites according to the Bible. God's chosen people. And we was put in slavery and discontinued from our heritage because we broke God's law. What's your name, bro? Percy. Do you know who you are according to the Bible? What's your race in, in the Bible? What race of people you come from? We're going to deal with Deuteronomy. You don't know who you are according to the Bible? Let me ask you another question. Come here. What color is Jesus? Who is this? Is this Jesus? I'm going to ask. I mean, uh, just from intelligent and uh, geography now. Because, uh, you know, everybody with dark skin over in that region. Right. Those that so who is it though? Did, did you ever believe that this was Jesus? Be honest. At one time. At one time. Now you don't believe he that. Who is that right there? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? All right, we're going to show it to you. Believe it or not, according to the Bible, we're the Israelites, the people that Moses brought out of Egypt. That's right. Do you know why we're suffering as a people? Black people suffering on the earth, right? Hispanic people suffering on the earth, right? Why? Why us and why not nobody else? Do you know why? Watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 1 verse 1. You can drop that. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Come here, sis. We ain't done. Now, I'm going to prove to you that according to the Bible, we're the Israelites. Now, give me Deuteronomy. I'm going to show you why. I mean, Jeremiah 17 and then go to Deuteronomy. No, no, no. I got to show you something, bro. It's very, very important because guess what, bro? Hold on. It's some more. Hey, very important. Now, you said, you said... Wait a minute, bro. Because you, I asked you, what's your nationality? It's very important to know who you are in this Bible. And you, how old are you? How old are you? You got to know who you are, bro. You're the leader. You're supposed to be a leader of the people. And you about to leave? This is the Lord's words. Nothing is more important than this. Watch this. You just learned about the Sabbath day that you didn't know. Remember, the destruction is coming to America, bro. You got to learn what to do to not get caught up in that fire that's coming here. Right. America is about to be destroyed. Right. And right. all those that's not following what this Bible says. Watch this. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So God said that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans will discontinue from their heritage what comes with a heritage your land the language that you speak the clothes that you wear the name that you're being called you're not black you're not african-american you're not hispanic you're not mexican you're not puerto rican you're not cuban you're the israelites according to the bible god's chosen people and we was put in slavery and discontinued from our heritage because we broke god's laws Brother, you're 63. You got to stay. Learn what happened to your people, bro. Don't leave. Your life is on the line, bro. Your soul is on the line. Watch this. Hold on. Let me read this again, sis. Read it again. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. Hey, sis. Hey, sis. What's your name? K. K. Did you know? Did you? Did they ever read? You went to church, right? Watch this. I'm going to ask you something real quick. Watch what the Bible says right here. Read it again. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So God says, what you say your name was again, sis? Come here real quick. Now, sis, hold on. I'm, I'm talking to both of y'all. Both of y'all. Now. That's what I'm bringing out right now. So tell me what he said. Okay, you're right. You're right. Just like he was bringing out to you. That's what I'm reading right now. How did this happen? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I got you, sis. You, you here. I don't want you to leave. Let me bring her into the conversation. So, sis, 
What's your nationality? What race of people do you come from? Who is this? Who is that? Who African. That? They say that's Jesus. Did you know that the Bible? You really don't know who you are. What, what's your nationality, sis? Because Nigerian is not a nationality. That's not a nationality. That's a country in Africa. Hello, sis. Where you? Where you going? Now, sis, look. Watch this. Listen good to this verse right here. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So to discontinue means what? If you discontinue from something, meaning you're going to what? Stop, right? You're going to be disconnected from your heritage, right? So God said that the Israelites will be discontinued from their heritage as a people, meaning we're going to lose our nationality. What comes with a heritage? Your land, your language. Your cult, meaning what clothes you wear, what foods you ate, and what name you was called. According to the Bible, according to the Bible, sis, we are the real Jews. We're the Israelites of the Bible. And we went into slavery because we broke God's commandments. But today, we don't know who we are. You believe in the Bible, right? From front to back. Do you believe we got to follow what's written in the Bible? Give me a... Give me a... We should... I'm saying, should we? Okay, wholeheartedly, I'm going to read something to you, and I'm going to see if you believe that we should keep this. Watch this. So, speak up. Everything in the Bible is not true? Everything in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation is true. It's about us. Give me Deuteronomy real quick first. Now, watch this, sis. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. I'm going to show you today that you're an Israelite, sis. What's her question? Hold on, sis. I'm going to show you something real quick. This is important. This is important. This question for all of y'all. I want to ask her. What's your question, sis? My question is, when you just said, like, we don't know our race, like, I feel like, I feel like when Adam and Eve, they ate the fruit, I feel like that's the race. Okay, so, okay. It ain't got nothing to do with it. Adam and Eve didn't eat an apple. I'm just, just, I got you, sis. It's a, it's a lot that they told us that we didn't learn. That, that wasn't true. Now listen. No, no, no. Wait, watch this. I'm going to show you who you are. Watch this. It's going to take five minutes. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. What's your name again? Shamika. I want you to listen good. Listen good. I'm going to ask you questions to make sure you're following along, okay? Deuteronomy 1 and 1. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. And we know our people got a lot of questions, but that's what we out here for. But you got to give us time to answer it according to the Bible, okay? Not our own answers. We're going to read the Bible. Read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto all Israel. So who was Moses speaking to? All Israel. So Moses was speaking to the Israelites, right? God told Moses to tell the Israelites, What's going to happen to them in the future? We're going to read these things. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28, verse uh, 15. So, we'll start at 1. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass. Hey, bro. Bro, what's, let me ask him a question. I'm still dealing with you. What's your nationality? Mexican. You're Mexican. I want you to listen to what we're bringing out right now. Believe it or not. The blacks and Hispanics are the Israelites according to the Bible. Yes, Lord. You understand? You're not Mexican. According to the Bible, you're an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. Your nationality was changed when, when Chris, you heard about Christopher Columbus coming and conquering your people, right? And taking this land from y'all. That's in the Bible. That's what we're going to read right now. And us coming to slavery on ships. Watch this. Read. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass, meaning it's something going to happen in the future. This is Moses speaking to who? Israel. Moses is speaking to the nation of Israel. He said, it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you listen diligently unto the voice of the Lord God, which is in the Bible. To observe and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Verse 2. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So now Moses told the Israelites, the blessing you're going to get 
that you're going to get blessings if you keep the commandments and you're going to rule over all nations. That's the blessing that the Israelites was going to get if they did what? If they kept what? If they kept the commandments of God. If the Israelites would keep God's commandments, he's going to set them on high above all nations and they will get blessings. Let's see the flip side. If they break the commandments, verse 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. Now on the flip side, he said, if y'all don't listen to God, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the opposite of a blessing is a what? We just read a curse, which is an evil thing. So God told God told Moses, tell the Israelites, on the other, on the flip side, if you break the commandments, bad things will happen to you. Curses will come upon you. you now watch this. So now God told the Israelites, if you keep the commandments, you'll get blessings. But if you break the commandments, curses will fall upon you. Meaning evil things will happen, like this right here. We're gonna read this in the Bible. The Native Americans, the Puerto Ricans, the Mexicans, all of y'all went through the same thing we went through. Slavery. That's in the Bible. Be why? Because we're the Israelites. You want to wonder why blacks and Hispanics is going through hell on earth today? It's because we're the Israelites and we're not keeping the commandments of God. Now, let's get in some of the curses. Verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So what that's talking about? Whose sons and daughters was taken from them and given to another race? What black people, right? Now you right here, sis. What race? What what race of people do you know? Sons and daughters was taken from them and sold to another race of people. Did that happen to Hispanics? That they may gain a great sum of money by their sale. Now the ships. Now the what? Now the ships. Now the ships that the Mexicans was put on are very slenderly furnished with provisions and water in small quantity to satisfy few and left the tyrants who are termed owners or prosperators of ships should be at too great expense in venturing their vessels. Nay, but afterward, when arrived and driven up into the isles, whether they are brought to be sold. To be what? To be sold. To be sold. We're talking about the so-called Hispanics. To be sold. There is no person that is in the some small measure compassionate, but would be extremely moved and decomposed at sight. This despite old men and women, together with naked children, have starved. Then they separate parents from children. Then they did what? Parents from children. They separated the, who, this is talking about the Mexicans. They, what did they do to their children? Then they separate from pa parents from children. And they separated the parents from their children. Your children was taken just like our children was taken and, to, and given to another race of people. Ice. That's what we just, and then you read about ice. I mean, you see about what's happening with ice right now. Are they not separating people from their children? Bring it out. Bro, what's your name? I'm talking to you. Ice. You know about ice, right? What are they doing to uh, the children and their parents? Are they not separating them today? That's the same thing that happened right here when Christopher Columbus came. Yeah. It's the same thing that's happening today. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is you. And fire!